This video series is presented by Drumtech, R Drums and Blash King. Welcome to the Acoustic to E Drums conversion series. This and the following videos are about the conversion process of a Pearl Rhythm Travel Up into an E Drum Kit. This episode is about converting this 13 inch snare drum. We will install our brand new flex trigger system. This system is not limited to a specific shell size. If the screws are unlocked, the mounting arms can be rotated. This way the scope of the system can be enhanced. The system is suitable for either 6 or 8 lock shells. The blade has holes for both constellations. It fits into every drum shell with sizes from 10 inch to 16 inch. We remove one row of the lock screws to apply these aluminium custom angles, including special screws. The angles can be mounted in four different variations, depending on the drum shell. In this case, the angles will be applied on the lowest point. Each angle has two holes to provide more mounting options. The arms have windings for an easy installation process. They can be applied from either the bottom side or from above to the central plate and the angles. This is why the system is extremely flexible in its height setting. Through the rotatable arms, the trigger blade is automatically centered. It comes with the matching M5 screws and all required washers. We install the arms and the system in this variation starting off with two screws on two sides to hold the system in place. All screws on the mounting arms get tightened as soon as every screw is applied. The head trigger is vernier adjustable by three elevating screws. These screws are blocked by counter nuts. We need to unlock them with a cross recess screwdriver and the wrench. The top of the trigger cone has to be 1.5 mm higher than the bearing edge of the shell to get the best trigger result. We use a ruler with a piece of sticky tape applied. The blade can be lifted up or down through spinning the three screws. As soon as the height is adjusted, the counter nuts can be tightened again. It is important that all three bolt heads have the same height level. In case the head trigger is not adjustable through the elevation screws, the constellation of the angles and mounting arms has to be changed. We use an air vent adapter cable from a previous video. Careful when tightening the jack plug nut with a wrench. The system has a 3.5 mm jack plug for small cables, which fit through conventional air vents. That means it is not necessary to drill a hole into the shell. We use an additional cable clamp to apply the cable, as there is an unused hole in the plate. The pet receives a two-ply drum tag mesh head. It will also get an additional one-ply mesh as bottom head, for optical reasons. Besides, it would not be possible to mount the bottom rim. We tune the heads and apply the r -drums rim silencer. The snare is ready. If you want to learn more about the Flex Trigger system, check out our website, vdrumtips.com. That's it for this episode. If you're curious to see the end result, check out the upcoming videos of our conversion project. Click the box on the left to watch a video about cables for air vents. Click the box in the middle for the previous episode. Or click the box on the right for the next episode of the series. Thanks for watching. See you next time.